So here we go, chat. I liked a post yesterday. I liked the post yesterday from the developers of No Rest for the Wicked. I'm, st I'm still every now and then getting a question on whether we force DEI stuff into the games we're making. So let me get, make it clear once and for all. If you guys are unfamiliar with what DEI is, is a diversity um, and oh, what is that other word chat? Let me let me make sure that I'm not making a mistake. DEI is diversity, equity and inclusion. Um, let me see. Um, so the DEI was uh, pretty much instated um, to have organizations include um, not only um, to have a diverse cast of workers and people working in in, uh, in any industry, right? So there's this big uproar now where uh, in art, you try to incorporate DEI. And I think it's a little bit weird to try to do that when it comes to art. And, and I think this guy explains it a little bit better. Again, this is Thomas. He is the developer of No Rest for the Wicked, Ori and the Blind Forest and blah, 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 blah. We could go on and on. So he says, uh, so let me make this clear for once and for all. Absolutely not. By the way, not that this needs any explanation. When somebody responds to this, to DEI accusations and blah, 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 blah. That doesn't mean he's against hiring black people and against hiring women. People like to take this and run with it as if he is saying stuff like, I'm not gonna hire any black people. That doesn't, that doesn't mean that, okay? I just wanna make that clear because a lot of people think that because you don't incorporate force DEI into your art, then all of a sudden you're against, um, you know, everything else. So it's, it's not that, but anyways, absolutely not. I find the entire approach perverted. I am an artist. I would rather quit than have someone else tell me how we should do our art. And that's, there it is, chat. It's like somebody backseat gaming your art, which is really weird. It's really weird. It's like somebody coming into your kitchen and telling you, you shouldn't cook this this way. You should cook this and you should add this. You have to absolutely add this salary or you're racist. That is bad. That shouldn't do that. That is your food. That is your art. That is, you know, everything that you do is your stuff. So let me, let me continue reading. Um, I've been very much outspoken on how I feel about consulting. And I still very strongly feel that if people haven't lived the process and don't have to think about the issues at hand 24 seven, they will always deliver worse work those than those who do. When it comes to the stories we're telling, I always approach it from a human angle first and foremost, and let the story tell me where it needs to go. If it tickles me to have a gay character in our story, and I feel like that character could fa be fascinating, then I will push for that. But I will never make a character gay simply because some outside party told me that it's hip to do so and that we might face backlash if we don't. Art fundamentally doesn't work that way. Everyone has stories inside of them that are based on the experiences that they went through in their lives. And to me, what elevates art beyond just craft is when you're reflected enough to know who you are and let those stories out because those experiences that you live through are most likely experiences that other people can relate to. Then we'll speak to them in a profound manner because they are real. Ori and the Blind Forest, in many ways, was about reflecting on what I, uh, it was like to see my father dying of cancer when I was 10 and being grateful to my mom. Wisp, on the other hand, was written when we all started to have kids in the studio and imagining what it would be like to have a kid with a disability. I wrote the first draft of No Rest for the Wicked quite some time ago, and that also came from a very specific place. I hope that clarifies it to everybody, for everybody. 
I've had to learn the hard way what it means to be an artist, and I never let anyone take that away from me. Well put. I don't think I could have put it any better myself. Yeah. That is, uh, that it really comes down to that. And, and it goes both ways too, right? So if this developer wanted to add a gay character in, the, in, the, in his game, it is very unfair to them that you have the anti-woke, the too far left or the too far right saying, oh my God, you added a gay character. You must, it's because you're woke and you're DEI. That doesn't mean that either. He felt like adding a gay character because it's his art. Not everything is about woke movement shit. Not everything is about the inclusion of something to appease someone else. It is his art. If he felt like adding that to his art, let the man be. Not everything is about that. There's a lot of homophobia, a lot of racism attached to video games in general. And people just like to lash out because they see something that is not cool to them. Right? So we could go back to the Overwatch, right? Having Tracer be a lesbian. Nobody gave a shit about that back in the day. But now all of a sudden, they add this new character. Um, what was her name? Venture. And oh my God, they added a non-binary character. Now Overwatch win woke. No, no, that is just their universe. They wanted to add that. Not everything is about your fucking political agenda, sir. They just felt like adding that to their universe. It's their art. Let them do what they want with their art. It's the problem is when people start pushing too far to the left and too far to the right, you lose sight of the vision here. This is people's art. And I think games should be, it should be first and foremost about the art that the developer wants to show us both ways. For the people that, for the developers that are just a shit and they add all this stuff because they're being told to do it or because they're trying to be cool, fuck those developers. And also fuck the communities who think that every gay character or every black character in a game is just to fit some agenda. It's not like that. Not everything is about race and gender, both ways. Yeah. So I don't know. I just wanted to show, um, bring this up. What do you guys think? Leave it down in the comments below. Hey, YouTube. Yeah, you. YouTube, you know that the success of this channel relies heavily on you. Viewers like you. By hitting the comment, like, and subscription button, you help me really, 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 really a bunch. More than you ever know. You could even put it on mute and walk away, you know, or lower the volume and walk away. But all the success of this channel relies on you. And I'm very thankful if you hit that comment, like, and subscription button. Also, follow my social medias. Twitter. My Twitter, I put out new art, new stuff. If you want to see more of this... Follow me everywhere, Twitch everywhere, everywhere. I give you my permission, my consent. Go, go. Now, um, hit the follow, comment, like, subscribe, Twitter, Twitch, everything. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.